Hi guys, long time no see. I've been on kind of a little bit of a sabbatical doing some other things. I've been trying to improve the channel in terms of the search engine optimization and uploading uh, videos to both Daily Motion and Rumble, but I'm starting to get back into making some videos and I apologize for the delay. Today, I'm going to be pruning my apricot tree. It'll be the sixth year of pruning. Since I planted this tree, I did pruning and training on year one, year two, year three, year four, I had what I call an apricot devastation and I had these videos on my channel. Then year five, I did some corrective pruning to try to make the tree look a little nicer. And this is year six, and I'm still doing some corrective pruning and also the usual annual pruning. Today, I'm using only one tool. These are my battery powered pruners, and I find them to be very easy to work with, especially if you've had carpal tunnel or some other kind of issues. It does most of the work for you. And if you'd like to buy these, you can get them from Amazon, and there'll be a link in the description. I've talked about this in other videos, but I want to review quickly what the order of pruning is going to be. First of all, I'm going to remove wood that's growing in an area, like along the trunk, that I don't need. Also, I'm going to grow, get rid of all the wood that's growing straight up. I'm also going to cut some of the most vigorous branches up toward the top of the tree that are going to make the tree very large. I want to try to keep it as low as I can, even though it's not technically a dwarf tree. And then I'll look for crossing branches and I'll do some thinning of branches because whenever you make a cut, especially when you're topping the tree to reduce the height, you'll get a lot of regrowth. And so I will thin out some of that growth. This whole pruning process shouldn't take me more than about 10 minutes. The video might take a little bit more than 10 minutes, but the actual pruning will take no longer than 10 minutes. Let's take a look at the tree and what we have to do. These are branches that are too low for the overall framework, so those will be removed. Also, here's an example of a crossing branch that'll have to be taken out. Then we have branches that are growing straight up, like this one right here. Also, you can see in this picture where it was topped about a year ago, and you see there are a lot of branches that are growing. Some of these will be kept, some of them will be shortened, and some of them will be removed altogether. Especially this one will be removed because as you move up the tree, it goes up about six feet. Here's another very vigorous branch. I may just shorten it a little bit depending on what else I take out, but it is quite tall. That's at least seven feet tall. So you can see what we have to do. And I'm gonna get started. One of the things that I wanted to remind you about when you're using these battery power pruners, whenever you push the button, it's gonna cut no matter what you do. So you do want your fingers anywhere near this. It can take off a finger in a second. Now, I also noticed online that there are some where you can have a pruning glove that you wear that if the blade comes into contact with that pruning glove, it'll immediately stop. You might want to consider those. With this one, I always make sure that my left hand is nowhere near this blade. So follow all the safety directions and avoid some regrets. Now normally what I do is I'll start on one part of the tree and I'll decide on what I'm going to work on like all the upward growing branches or whatever and then I'll just go on a circle around the tree. I'm kind of doing things randomly today so uh, it depends on your personality. Some people are very organized about how they do things. Other people just kind of randomly cut the, the things that they know that need to be cut. Of course, another thing that you want to make sure you take care of is any dead branches, which are fairly obvious to tell because they're gray and there's no growth. Because the buds have already started breaking, this tree's already bloomed, so it's very easy to tell which branches are dead. Here's the tree so far, and it's about eight feet tall at the tallest point, so I have it at a height that I can manage. I did miss this branch right here, so I'm going to take that out. You can see where I really reduced the height of the tree on this side of the tree 
but I do have a few branches in this area that I'm going to thin. Not many. I mean, it doesn't look too bad right here specifically. And I probably will thin out just a few of the branches in this area here. And that will conclude my pruning on this tree for this year. So this is the finished tree. What I've done here, if you can see it, is I've made a cut back to a vegetative bud that's gonna go out in this direction, which would be to the south. And the reason I did that is because I had a branch break off from the ice and there's an open side on this tree. So I'm hoping to kind of fill this in. And if you look up here in the top, I've thinned out these branches. They don't look too different, but I, I took some more things out, but there's plenty of space for light to get through. And um, I may trim some of these back a little bit after they produce. You can see these two are still a little high. That extends out to, as a matter of fact, this one on the right that you see right up in there, I think I'll probably go back in and take that out. But for the most part, everything is done on this tree. And of course, I will revisit a little later and see how things are growing. So that's it for today, and I'll see you later.